So do you know what you're in for? Um, just gonna do some, you know, RAF training, you know, military, military things. You used to getting shouted at by people. Nah. Yes, yes. Paddy. Oh. Paddy. <laughs> you know, it's going to get down and dirty, you know? We've got 30 seconds. I want three lines. One on this line, one on that line, one on that line. 30 seconds, go. All right, gents. A few things, a few rules for how everything's going to run. One chance now. You've got your hands in your pockets, you your hands out your pockets. This is an opportunity for us to take boys out of their kind of comfort zone as such, uh, an opportunity for them to experience something that they don't necessarily see on a day to day basis, give them a chance to see what it's like to be in the armed forces and to learn a few life lessons as well. There's going to be a few challenges for them over the next two days. I think our kind of club values marry up well with the values of the RAF. We wanted to take our lads out of the bubble that they live in, that is football. You need to be comfortable feeling uncomfortable. And I think this will stretch boundaries physically, mentally, and we'll learn a lot from um, from this couple of days. Add my snap. We've got a bunch of different characters. Their league form this year suggests that they they have got the ability to progress in the game. I'm enjoying working with them. Communication, organisation. That was two minutes eleven. Looking to see who the natural leaders are. Again, it's a very different environment from the football pitch and sometimes the activities like this can really surprise people. People tend to come out of the shell a little bit more and sometimes those that appear to be leaders aren't. The footballers a lot of times share similar skill sets to those in the military. Very much so, they come through a very structured system, um, very similar to the military. And I think a lot of the time they, they undersell the skills that they have actually developed. We took them into a, a little bit of a, a competitive exercise with regards to, to tent building. At that point, they weren't aware that it was going to be their accommodation for the night. Three, two, right, get up forward. Right. This needs to slide in. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. <laughs> We've just got a. Uh, Less, less of a consequence than the lose, shall we say? And then they were told, right, you know, this is your accommodation for the evening. Uh, you manage it, you look after it. Um, and to be honest, I was really surprised at the reaction from the lads. Normally, they can be a bit disheartened and be very demotivated by it, but they seem to take it on the chin. They looked at the positives of it. Throughout the evening, uh, you could hear them really bonding socially um, in a different environment, maybe where they could relax a little bit more. My first time in a tent as well, so it'd be decent. We've obviously got the upgraded one for staff, so air conditioning, heating, um, little cooker in there, tea, coffee on call. So you sleep on it like this? No. Or you take it out? I, 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 I haven't used one before. It's just on, on, one buckle back. And then inside here, you sleep like that. That'll keep you warm in like minus 10. Gracias. So tonight's going to be about minus 12. <laughs> minus 12? <laughs> okay, so Tariq, have you found the day? Um, yeah, it's been an exciting day. Um, a lot of tasks to be, you know, cut. <laughs> yeah, today's been great, you know, it's a great challenge for us, um, for the boys, you know, see how resilient the boys are, you know, I just think it's good to know, to show their emotional side, see how they cope. I'm not going to lie, it was difficult for me. I've never put up a tent before, but uh, I think the lads, we got together well, and we all, uh, we all did our bit, pulled our part, but... Uh, I'm not looking forward to tonight's uh, sleeping with all the lads. Well, you know, I picked the people very carefully, 
quite good lads in there. Trust them all, you know. I'm quite content right now, but you know, if anything, anything wrong in there, you know, you definitely have to put it out. <laughs> well, you know, anywhere I sleep, I'm comfortable. I can sleep sitting up, standing up, so I'm comfortable. With these beds, you know, I'm happy, I'm content. I can sleep on these, you know. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Right, morning gents. Come on, get up. It's now ten past six, out on the road, in threes, dressed, ready to go in five minutes. Don't be late. Morning, boy. somewhere, feed it. Down. When I say go, and only when I say go, fence at the end of the rugby pitch, run, touch it, come back. Go, 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 don't be last, don't be last. Sleep for like 20 minutes. Tornado comes along, wake up, and then it goes. It's crazy. Like the wind was just playing with my emotions, you know. But I couldn't get a nice sleep, you know. But obviously his alarm woke him up, and then five minutes after, guy comes in. Go, 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 get up, get up, five minutes. So you know, it's like, wake up. as he says, if you don't, if you don't do what he tells you, there's press consequence. Ups. I probably have done like 30 press ups and my chest is like hair now, you see, but you know, it's life, you know, it's the life they want to live. The general feedback we've had from, from staff involved is they've been very impressed with the lads. They turned up, got, got straight into the swing of things, they've now moved on to some more physical stuff which I think they'll enjoy a lot more. It puts them a bit more in their comfort zone, but I don't think they'll, uh, they'll thank us this evening when they're driving home after it all. Resilience is a massive one, so again, who are the ones that are really going to push forward, dig deep, to stay at the top end of the group? Um, there'll be elements of teamwork in there, um, but what we'll try and do is look at the individual a little bit more. It's the situation they're in. Yes, they're part of a team, but I think they all know in the back of their minds they're also there to, to develop themselves and, and make a career, so we'll try and weave that little thread in throughout the day for them. I think the boys have coped with everything. Brilliant. Yeah, I've been really proud of them over the last uh, 48 hours. They've put a lot of work in. They've broken down physical and mental barriers, which is what the trip was designed. We've seen a lot of lads kind of come out of their shell. We've, we've seen a lot of boys push themselves physically and mentally in. And um, we've got so much out, out, out of this trip, it's, it's, been, it's been massive for us. We, we preach to them about being honest, being respectful, being disciplined and being resilient. And, they're the four key values that I feel have taken us a long way this season and um, they kind of got rammed home even, even more by these lads in the RAF and the boys have really bought into it. They've seen the benefits of these kind of four simple pillars and I'm sure we will see the benefits of, of this in, in the future games.